Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is David and today I'm unboxing Transformers Terracon Ripper Snapper. Hey, welcome back guys. Welcome back to another toy and toy unboxing and review of my Transformers Ripper Snapper. He's a part of the Terracon and this is the Power of the Prime lines. So here you can see Ripper Snapper. Um, he's look kind of like a shark monster with arms and legs. So his head is like a shark. And you see he has two like cannons right there. Uh, right here in the picture it seems like he has claws like Wolverine. So you can see right there. He has claws and that's his visor you can see and he looks pretty cool yeah and let's see in the back what it says about him how will the ferocious terracon ground attack specials weld the power of the primes so here is ripper snapper so here he doesn't really have a like a pistol or a gun so but he does have shoulder cannons mounted on his back and this is his shark mode and he transformed within 14 steps so power this prime right here you can see alchemist prime this is the power mystical scientist alpha trion infinite knowledge and lich maximal is trickster so andy to give him the special powers and you can see this thing mount on his chest as a like a bulletproof armor for his body so yeah let's unbox this thing so here is my unboxing knife so if you're new to my channel and if you like toy unboxing like transformers marvel legends or legos please hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my channel and yeah if you like it just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share my videos. So here, um, try to unbox this. It's kind of hard. So yeah. So here you can see in the back, you can see his card. All the Transformers and this Power of the Primes comes with their own cards. And let's take it out and see. And each card says their special message on for each robot. So this he's part of Decepticon Terracons. So here it comes with instruction on how to transform him into Ot mode, which is the monster mode. Or from monster mode, transform him into a robot mode. And yeah, they also have tell you how to mount his his transform him into like a robot arm because he formed the arm of Obonimus. So five robots combined turns into a bigger robot. So he's part of only one arm of that robot. So in order to take this, you need to cut off all the rubber bands. So you have to be careful. You don't want to get this rubber band in your eyes. So yeah, be careful, kids. So this is his hand or Obama's hand. So he transformed to an arm, and this thing could be his armor. But when you have the power to prime, you can mount each power on his chest. So this thing turns to an arm, as you can see. It can form his right arm. See, that's his thumb, or that's his fingers. Or you turn the other side and turn to the, a robot left hand. And this thing, you can take it out, and you can mount the power of the primes. So there you go, you can take it out and mount it back in if you want to. So let's look at Ripper Snapper. I took off his arm. But that's okay. Because I forgot to take the rubber band out. So, yeah, his arm came off. Not a big deal. 
let's try to snap it back in. So yeah, so this arm came off. I don't know if that's normal, but yeah. Seemed like they forgot to put something right here to secure the arm. Let's see on this side. Yeah, this side doesn't come off. So I have to be careful with this. Okay, so let's be careful with his right arm. So let's see the articulation on this thing. So his arm could lift on the side, up and down on this side. It could rotate 360 degrees, full circle. Elbow bend. Let's see how much is elbow bend on this guy. So elbow about 90 degrees. You can see right here, that's his claw on his head. And this side, he bent on 90 degrees also. And this is a hole for the five millimeter peg to mount his weapon. But unfortunately, it didn't come with one. So I guess you could, yeah, you can mount this one right here. So take it out and you mount, that's his gun. So he can either mount on his backpack or shoulder in the back or on his right hand. So his leg, he could do a rear kick, front kick, and a side kick, but not all the way. So he could do a split about that much. I like about his face is a really good see his eye visor very detailed and his head too I really like it and yeah and let's look at the back you can see the Decepticon symbol on the monster head you also have the symbol in the front so if it's purple he's part of the Decepticon yes you can see right there it's a closer look he has a little thigh you can spin on his thigh or you can swivel the leg could bend around 90 and yeah um, let's see the ch um, chest of his head oh you can bend down his head you can do hear those clicks so yeah it looks pretty cool he has the shark head and it, the mouth open you see the teeth ooh cool okay so let's transform into alt mode which is monster mode and I'll let you guys see Let's do that. So now I just transform Ripper Snapper into alt mode, which is transformed into monster mode. So here it is. You can see he has the Decepticon symbol on his head. His mouth could open and close. He looked like a land shark because he looked like a shark. Has gills right here. Has two pistol and he has legs and arms so he could walk on land so I assuming he could swim really well in, in the sea because he has a tail right here and he could pretty much walk on land too so he can attack both Autobots both on land and in water so I mount his armor on the back so act as his backpack so you can see his claws in monster mode Looks pretty awesome. And his leg. His legs look like an ox leg or something. Yeah, but it looks pretty cool. Um, seems like he could crawl. Also, too, you can see it like this. See that? He could crawl on land or walk. So, in order to transfer him, it's really easy. So, first you want to take out the armor. So... Fold up his legs. So we're gonna fold up and take his leg apart. So pull out his leg apart like this. Pull it down and lock in the back right here. So it'll be secured and separated. You have to pull it apart, but first you have to also transform his shark legs or shark fin in the back fold it up there you go so that's his leg also on this side so you have to fold in there's like a latch right there so you have to fold in like that so 
once it's securely right here, you can see it fits perfect. So that's this leg, his monster legs fully fold up. And what you do, you're gonna turn his torso around. So you can see the leg is formed already. And the hand is really easy. The monster hand and the robot hand is the same. So all you have to do is just turn his wrist about a quarter turn. And there you have it. That's his hand, his arm, body. Now the shark head collapses, pull it back and fold it into his back. So that's all you have to do. And there's a little paper here, you just have to push it in so it's secure, it doesn't wobble. So yeah, and yeah, this is him in robot mode within 14 steps. So yeah, you can take out his backpack gun or cannons. You can turn it into a pistol. You can mount the pistol on both hands. So there you go. How does he look? He looks awesome, isn't it? Looks pretty cool. And yeah, I think the leg is not secured right here. So you have to fold it in and snap it right there. Yes, you can see here, push it, take it apart, fold it down and make sure it goes into this peg right here. And this is Ripper Snapper. And I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, please leave in the comment below um, a question about this robot. And oh yeah, I forgot his armor. So in order to mount his armor right here, there's a little five millimeter peg. And there's the hole right here. You just have to pull this down and mount this thing right on his chest. So that's his, his armor, and he doesn't need to be afraid of Autobots after this, so yeah, that's his ar chest armor. And if you have the power of the primes, you can just take it out and put it right here, so he will have special powers. But yeah, if you look on the side, he's a little bit like back heavy and forward heavy after this, so if you take this out, he looks a little bit better. Look more like G1. But yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope it's informative for you guys. Um, if you have any comments, just leave in the bottom. Uh, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get future notification of my video on my toy reviews. And I'll catch you guys in the next video review. Thank you so much. Peace out. <laughs>